Hello and welcome to my series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. If you enjoy this video, please consider clicking on the like button at the bottom. Also, check out our Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page, where we offer additional live streams of our Sunday morning services, our Sunday morning Bible studies as well, and an additional Sunday evening service with our minister, Mark, where he'll sing songs, offer the Lord's Supper, and present another lesson for you to be enriched by. In this video, I ask you to focus on a psalm and to enjoy the psalm to bring peace and meditation into your world. My point in my videos here is not to explain what the psalm means, but to enjoy it as a tool of meditation to find your own calm and peace in God's word. Meditation is very effective in using the mind and letting it ponder again and again until things resonate with meaning. So let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings you bestow upon us. Bless us now with clarity and strength of mind. Bless us with serenity and the capacity to know you and to feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon the word you have given us. It is in your Son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. So the psalm that I would like to meditate upon today is Psalm 12. And when we meditate upon it, think about how many times in our lives we felt betrayed by the words of those that we thought we could trust, of the people who speak kindly to us, then speak idle words to others about us, maybe in our neighborhoods, in our workplaces, in our social media. Unfortunately, the nature of humanity has not changed much in thousands of years. Just as in the time of David here, people have gossiped in whispers. Just today, we've found different ways of doing it. This can make the godly person want to cease being godly when he feels stabbed in the back. And I think that's what David was seeing here, that a lot of people turn their backs on God because they saw just men doing things that they shouldn't and saying things they shouldn't. It's frustrating us that these gossipers believe that their lips are their own and they have no responsibility other than that they can say what they want. It makes us want to tell the Lord to cut off their tongues, as David was saying here. We feel that they've gotten the upper hand in this world. Well, here's the reassurance. God will arise. It will arise for the oppression of the poor, for the discouragement of those who need encouragement. When we are disheartened, when we can't believe the words of man, when we can't trust what others say because of what they say when we aren't around, we have assurance that God is not like that. His words are pure, as pure as silver tried in a furnace purified seven times. Think of that image, the beauty of silver, the pure shine of it. Was that silver always that way in the ground? Yes, maybe it shined a bit and that's why it was found, but it needed to be purified. It has become that way through the trials of the fire. Seven times it has been tried in the fire and Maybe that's what we need sometimes. We need to be tried in the fire to purify us. Get how still it shines out the more, this silver. We need purity to purify those impurities around us. Keep that shine in our hearts with God's words. Keep that purity like a silver ring wrapped around our finger. Polish it. Meditate upon it. Use this psalm to remember the silver of God's pure shining word. Meditate upon this one and pray for those who speak idle words. Keep that shine in your heart. I hope this psalm will be one to help you in those times that 
we are angered by the frailty of others and don't let those words make us impure as well. So I hope this has given you some thought and until next time, keep Psalms and carry on.